This video is entitled Van Jones Prostitutes Himself. Footage from this video is taken from my live stream and the comments are left in this video for your viewing pleasures. Enjoy the laugh. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit like, share my videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also, make sure that your notifications are on and they're set to all. Now let's get into this, but first, quick commercial break. Now, if you watch Kevin's Corner regularly, you will know that Noble Gold is one of our sponsors. And they now have thousands of clients who found the secret of gold and silver for their retirement plans right here. And now for the month of March with any qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce American the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. You know what to do. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or you can visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. Now, let's get to this video. Perhaps that's because if they actually paid attention to this bloke, they didn't have a clue what he was saying. Uh -oh. <laughs> the capacity of our economy, of our economy. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? I don't know what bloat mean, but whatever it means, it can't be good. So, therefore, I'm going to parrot that. That bloke just got up here and said, <laughs> that was the opening line right there. <laughs> Coughed up those corona crumbs all over that mic first. Before you crop, uh, coughed up this ignorance. Here we go. The capacity of our economy, of our economy to make com computer chips. Nailed it. As for the incident reaction, he was what, uh, well, even somebody who calls it down the line, she knows what it's like to put a speech together. She worked, of course, for George W. Bush. Here's what Dana Perino said on Fox. Give us some feedback. Then. Be generous and say that there were 91 applause lines, and it, but I have to say, I thought the speech was uninspired. I agree that it sounded like he did not actually change anything. It's almost as if they had the speech, it fell on the floor, all the pages got shuffled around, and they just put it back together, and they didn't actually reorder it. There were no transitions. There was no rhetorical lift. Kind of like Joe's thoughts. Kind of like his his words. He just takes a whole bunch of words and say, ah, okay, uh, you know what, uh, my butt's been white. Oh, uh, you know what, it's right there, bad calf care. Uh, you know what, run, stick, run, up, up, down, up, backwards. You know what, ice cream. Oh, I'm sorry, am I supposed to be reading these in order? I just saw a whole bunch of words on the ground. I start reading them. That's how he talks. And yet they get out there and they try their best to pretend that this man's normal. Uh, that was an inspiring speech. Joe Biden nailed it today. Fingers crossed. Uh, you have to put your fingers down. They can see you. How, uh, oh, Yes, that was very wonderful out of Joe. I love the way he transitioned. Your fingers are up again. What? Oh, yeah. So anyway, because you're about to hear some one of the most asinine responses to that debacle we heard that I've ever heard. This man already has a lot of low respect from me, but it just went, it bottomed out after you hear this. And you know who agreed with the analysis on Fox News? The lefties of The Daily Show. They put out this tweet during the speech, which that he was essentially running out of battery. But guess what? They deleted the tweet because the official memo was Biden is back. Biden back. Because he was the analysis on CNN. I thought that was Joe Biden at his best. Uh, Uncle Joe is back. I thought he was. He was. Somebody go and revoke Van Jones' bald head, please. That man is not manly enough to rock a bald head. Get it off of him. Someone go and put some cotton balls on that head. I don't care if you got to dye them black, dip them in some paint, and stick them with crazy glue all over his head because he doesn't deserve that ball hair. He just gets up here and says, Uncle Joe is back. Wait until you hear him kissing that, but his lips are so far up Joe's uranium, okay, that it... <sighs> Listen to Joe. I thought that was Joe Biden at his best. Uh, Uncle Joe is back. I thought he was he was being uh, the leader. Listen, nobody believes in these American ideals more than Joe Biden. It's show tonight. Van Jones right now, while he's saying this, is taking off all of his clothes. I thought Uncle Joe is back. Uh, uh, he, he, this is what he, uh, get my bra. And, and he's really, uh, he's coming. That dude's getting ready right now to prostitute himself on national TV. Do you hear what he's saying? I'm like, do you have any integrity, man? I'm questioning if this dude really believes this. His intelligence is on the line. What were you watching, man?
night. Listen, I have not seen unity in this country like I saw at the beginning of that speech. And I don't want to step on that. I was impressed with the energy. I was impressed with... If this man's low ball... There goes the last bit of clothing. And there we go. The wiggle. That man just hit me with the wiggle now. Like, clothes off. Unbelievable, man. Good grief, man. I need to have a meeting with this dude, man. <laughs> Come here. Pull up in the car. Van, get in. Get in now. Get in. We need to talk. I saw you prostituting yourself on the show yesterday. This man just said, I haven't seen him like this for it. What were you watching, man? If you didn't believe in democracy before, if you never heard of democracy, and you just looked at the body language of this guy, this guy believed every word he said. What? Jeez, oh man. I, the brain stelter might not have prostituted himself as bad as what I just heard. <laughs> this dude cannot be serious. It looked like he believed everything he just said. It's the exact opposite, man. Nothing Joe said appeared to be original or believable. That man was reading a full script, as you can tell, based on all the gaffes. He didn't own that script. The reason I'm able to get out here and talk to y'all like I do is because... This stuff is in my heart. <laughs> I don't need to write scripts because I'm saying I am the script. I don't read the script. Script reads me. I feel like the black dude in Tropical Thunder played by Downey Jr. Uh, you didn't read the script? I don't read the script. Script reads me. What does that even mean? Hey, man, what you talking about? The flip, the script, the stuff, man. Look, man, spit that crap out. That's what I feel like. I ain't got to do that. I can spit this crap out because it's in my heart. This guy? That's in uh. Wait, uh, wait, stop, wait, read line, stop. When he starts reading the stuff in parentheses, that lets you know it's not in his heart. Folks are writing this mess down, and Van is out here. I'm sorry I'm taking so much time on Van Jones. I didn't even plan on doing that. You know, I mean, but nonetheless, I'm amazed at the level of prostitution that I'm listening to. And I think I'm, I'm proud tonight we have a leader like him. <sighs> Seriously? Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. And please check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, please click on the link below this video. Put Kevin in a promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. If you like to donate to Kevin's Corner, feel free. The links are below this video. If you want to be a part of my $2 a month club, also feel free to do that. All it entails is you simply dropping two bucks a month into one of those links below the video. Or if you want, you can drop a nice big fat lump sum in there to offset the stuff that we know goes on with Big Tech. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Make sure that you are still subscribed. And finally, set your notification button to all because YouTube is playing games, y'all. Now, God bless you. God bless America. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.